Hey, 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 it's time for another Zendikar first quick deck tech and we have a Baduzi. So uh, week one, week one or so we've been past week one of Zendikar rising standard and uh, uh, sad to say there's a lot of there's a couple of decks that runs around and you know ruins that not ruins it's just it's full of it's full of that kind of deck which we will not much mention i'm not uh but uh since i said that my last quick deck that that i'll try to avoid blue as much as possible uh since even though some decks only splashes blue for another sp certain card and since we are still waiting for bannings this coming Monday, as of uh, this recording, uh, might as well go with my pet deck, which I've been scouring around. And uh, this is Rakdos Midrange. Yes, Rakdos Midrange is... Um, yeah, it's, it's what the deck says. It's a... Uh, hmm. It's a mid-range deck which just strips the hand and generates tempo. Then you just put in a... Uh, I have to take out uh, one threat, a uh, one card. And yeah. we're going to take this out and we're going to put this in. Anyway, uh, so back into the deck. Uh, this is Rakdos mid-range. Uh, our goal is just to strip our opponent's hand with Croxa, Agonizing Remorse, and Rankle while gaining tempo while we keep on removing their threats like Spikefield Hazard, uh, Murderous Rider, and Rankle, and Hagra Mauling. So with the introduction of Sandika Rising, uh, we have, uh, I think we have around 21, 21 lands, which sometimes is giving me headaches during gameplay uh i have mixed uh results with this deck while playing this during the week but uh yeah this is fun i have a lot of fun because my triton and tyrant calls the dead fuels your graveyard for your uh escape cards like ox of agonas uh phoenix of ash and croxa and one cling to dust cling to dust has been some sort of my mvp if I have one on hand and one on graveyard because it just answers a Uro on the graveyard and gains you three life against creature matchups and draws you a card when you need to draw a card. Uh, yes, Spike Field Hazard is here for Uro and small creatures and it's a good land uh, on turn one because we don't have that much turn one plays. Uh, we have uh, six tap lands enters the battlefield tap lands and uh, yeah two Agadim's awakening as a bolt land and also uh, if you if if the game drags on and if you have one Agadim's awakening on your hand uh, this can bring out all your threats from the two drop down to Five drop so if you have like eight mana just lying around because the game is stalled a little bit especially in creature matchups uh playing agadim's awakening for eight uh x is equal to eight uh you know brings uh five four three two and those threats on the sideboard we have blood chief's thirst which is also a very good card uh for aggro grass of darkness against uh omnath decks robber of the rich uh this should be set but i am i don't know yeah i think this is supposed to be set uh shredded sales just for um lucky clover decks uh Pestilent haze is should be a massacre worm because i haven't still started drafting and farming for wild cards and two ember cleaves for that wow effect. anyway that is 
the deck tech and we are oh, we're gonna save and exit and we're gonna play some games and uh yeah if yeah 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 and we'll play with Dracos main rage uh yeah on week one i've scoured the internets for you know inspiration and uh, if you've noticed that I haven't bombarded the channel with uh, videos this week because last week we did our reviews and um, yeah and you know uh, I'm just waiting for uh, draft but uh, thankfully Kevin uh, would lend us a hand in that department so we're on the draw against Hedron Crab. Oh, are you a mill deck? Uh, this would be a good keep for now. But, you know, uh, the Ruin Crab is like 0 3. So, I'm just gonna start off with a red. So that he'll think uh, we're an aggro deck. Oh, oh, this is a Boros Knight deck. It's very, very good. And uh, I think need to we need to rip apart this hand no knights but there's a bunch of uh, reclaims and scorching fires so we're gonna take away that one because he has no lands yes and, and uh, honestly and uh, we could just kill this and uh, yeah, we could we could just just kill it now since he doesn't have any lands we're just playing best of one just so that you'll have an idea of uh, what the deck does game one and that's an easy win and yeah and we're gonna we're gonna play one more or two more games and we'll see yeah, so this card is still very relevant, especially in the meta right now, because if you can just, you can just discard at the right time, like even though they are on the play and you are on the draw, if they play a Lotus Cobra, you could just uh, spike field hazard it, and on your turn, you could just rip apart his hand, uh, you know, just changing the curve, because from what I've seen and uh, observed on the Omnat decks, they're more like a combo deck than a mid-range deck and you know uh, combo decks are very weak if they don't get their curve right lotus cobra just accelerates it so yeah but in per in in pertaining with the bands uh, i think uh, i think they're gonna ban a mythic card and a rare card just for so we're on the play yeah 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 yeah. trout mask do you like that the trout uh, tempo for a mountain which is good so that we'll have a complete mana for rosa and uh, yeah a fable passage opener into a forest is very very bad ominous it's very ominous yep so i have this funny feeling that it is um it is a on that deck we may see it in action hopefully not so we're just gonna discard him discard some land yeah they have a, a lot of land i think so, lotus cobra yeah. We are going to kill that on site. A turn 2-2-1 two, two, that should be killed on the spot is really, really good. And uh, yes, in our set review, Tonton really is very excited to play with Lotus Cobra. Here's another one. I'll put another land and a second Lotus Cobra would be very bad. Ooh. No Lotus Cobra there. So we could just... Croxa and Mire Triton at the same time will fill the graveyard. Hopefully they don't. Uh, they 
yeah they if they have a blue source an island or a plains they could cast um omnat or they're going for the blue uh uro okay uh card of the terror of the peeps i think they have two copies in the main deck yeah okay they have the fable passage which could net them extra mana I'm gonna make white oh blue double blue okay cultivate could have ah yeah ah yeah he yeah yeah yeah, yeah. he's just generating lots of mana and yeah there's the uro you need, you need to deal with that uro because he could fill up the graveyard very easily with our discard so we have answers for Uro. And oh, Oh, spicy, spicy indeed. Okay. So we have that. It's gonna bring back Uro. Hmm. We could. Yeah, Scute Swarm is very, very bad. We have to kill it on site. We're just hoping that he gets a land. Just just even one land. He has lands and... Ah, wow. And Uro off the top deck. Just giving him tons of value. Look at that. Two creatures and, you know, they've recovered from a bunch of discard spells. So this has been very, very... Uh, it's been very very bad from from the start but if we put out crocs uh, he's going to get he's going to force himself into playing uro ah yeah so we're gonna do that we're gonna eat we're gonna eat we're gonna eat our brother crocs. we're gonna leave the phoenix because it uh it only requires you three yeah let me just yeah he only requires three and uh we could attack for the turn now oh oh we discarded Ubi. that was nice that was that was nice yeah that's a that's a good wow from us oh dear god it's gonna put lots of lands oh dear gosh yeah he's gonna put blue mana yeah, he's gonna put blue mana on it. And, uh, yeah. We're in a whole lot of pain. If we have a... Wait, uh, I'm, I'm answering some messages. Ah, uh, yeah. So, look at that. Just a simple top deck and all things go to shites. We could, we could kill the cobra, kill Uro. And we just, we just force him. Yeah, we're, we're gonna force him. So we're gonna deal two damage to this guy. He has one, two, yeah, just four, uh, no, four, five, I uh, know, four, then three, four back again. We're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna let him have his lands. We're gonna force him to discard whatever he has. Oh, an Omnat. Oh, that was so good. That was that was so good. So we're just gonna hope and pray. Now he has enough lands again so that he can recast uh, Uro. Yeah, he could. Yeah, he could recast Uro easily. But he's going. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. He, oh, he cycles. Wow. The spells and the lands all going to the graveyard. Making Uro so powerful. Yeah. 
uh what's happened so he's in co oh okay we have okay that's a good top deck that's a good draw uh we could just attack with the cross uh. i'm gonna force him to this kind yep so i think he has another omnath in hand so Oh dear, come on. Okay, we have Ranko. We can force him to... Yeah. We can force him to like... Uh, do something. Okay. He's gonna attack. He's gonna draw. We could just... Yeah, we could block. Which puts us, uh, which, oh dear lord, he's gonna exile, if he's gonna exile, oh dear, gosh, wow, that was, that was, uh, that was, that was bad, so we could just kill Uro first, and hope for the best nothing else i mean he he oh it has reach oh my god oh my god oh my god ah oh, i forgot reading the card oh my god so a quick pro tip to everybody reading the card explains the card yes yes kaguya sama i i apologize for the defeat the the, the, uh, the defeat uh we're gonna we're gonna run it back we're gonna we're gonna play one more game yeah so some of my dirtly decks that i like to play are mostly blue decks because I'm a is it player most of the time so yeah um that's why I I I it took me some time to make this deck tech because I tried to like not play blue at all so that uh all my viewers you know like would like some different action uh this is a good hand if we draw our lands which temple will temple has uh, given us hope if he puts a threat in yeah we're we're gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna kill that hellhound is very good on turn one if unanswered it's a very very good source of damage and uh, mono red decks are now paying four of them and this one he's gonna he's gonna save up the land no oh this is gruel oh gruel gruel is also very very good gruel gruel midrange or uh, gruel aggro it's not midrange gruel uh aggro is very very good oh wow migratory great herd on akum hellhound would be fantastic oh okay and that's interesting here's the kobe kobe i'm gonna call him kobe so what we could do is we could just flat out kill the cobra Yeah, I was thinking of playing Rankle and sacrificing a creature, but I forgot. I, I still don't have my Mire Tritons in play. So. Oh, D low God, that is one beautiful combo. We're gonna. We're gonna take 7 damage. That's a sure 7 damage in the face, ladies and gentlemen. And we have no choice. So what we can do here is we can 
discard a card and sacrifice a creature because we have escape cards. So we can uh, discard a phoenix. Wow. Oh, what was that? What was that? Opportunistic dragon. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay. Here. Uh, he, he's coming with the beats, so we could bone crusher and uh, cross. Uh, we're gonna cut down. Okay. Oh. Okay. He oh, he doesn't have the mana yet to uh, mutate. So. Uh, so. Right now we're in a standoff. I'm I'm very glad to block. I would I am willing to block uh, whatever comes because it fills our graveyard and yeah yeah. So he has chosen not to play. We could spike field hazard his face, then cross. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, remove to any target. If, if, can I target the land? <laughs> like that. Yeah, we're gonna eat everything. Ghoul, uh, as far as I can remember. Unless it's a big creature, uh, doesn't really have the. Unless they have the claim, the firstborn, and we are going to be so dead. I I like the combo. I like the combo of landfall creatures with migratory great horn, and uh, if you keep mutating it into a strix, which triggers a lot. And, uh, yeah. So the good thing about uh, the deck is that even though you keep casting spells uh, with escape and the adventure mechanic, uh, you tend to have like, uh, you tend to have a decent time. Uh, so we could, we could kill off the tricks. There's no problem there. Could be willing to block. Yep. He could he could have he could have blocked with the migratory great herd first. And we're gonna put in the murderous reiner. We're gonna pass the turn. He is contemplating on casting it. So he okay, he passes the turn. Which is good we could use our croxa Ooh, yes uh, fable passage hmm we're gonna get the swamp and we're gonna we're gonna discard that hand to land it's three damage and uh yeah we're still good to go we have a blocker much as possible and still not attacking oh it's a good card that's a good card that's a very good card could attack murderous rider again and that's that's all this deck do uh, discard the hand, uh, kill anything that comes out in the battlefield, and uh, hopefully win. Uh, okay, two damage, and he's casting. Okay, have that. We could just attack. He takes two. We blast him, and we cast. Yeah, it. It's okay, he's gonna take. We're gonna gain life out of it. Yeah. 
can uh, deal two damage. And we're gonna, gonna cast it. If he's attacking, there's no problem because we're at 13. Chikua 10. Chikua 1 0. So, <laughs> so he just targeted himself. He could he could he could have just casted the bone crusher giant attacks could have left with one more it could have been a good it could have been a longer game but that's the deck and uh, so or uh, wait yeah 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 and that's the deck rakdos midrange uh we just played it and play and I'm I'm just farming. <laughs> I'm still farming. Uh, we're back at 8k gold, and uh, we're back at eight eight thousand gold. Which, oh my gosh, my hair. Yeah, pandemic hair incoming. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's the deck. Uh, Rakdos mid range. It's really good. If it it, it it's a fair deck that has a good chance of winning against other fair decks but against like the you know top tier decks it's just there it's just there it's missing something if you know uh what good cards uh, we could find for this deck if you have any suggestions uh put it in the comments or put it on our facebook page uh yeah and i will see you in the next video i love you one million bye